Good morning. We are extremely pleased that you are here. It is good to come together for the purpose of co-creating. Do you agree? Yes. You do. <laughs> you are knowing what you are wanting. Yes. An ever-changing thing, yes? Do you like new desire becoming? Yes. Do you? <laughs> do you like it enough? that you might be willing to come forth into a physical body into an environment of contrast for the express purpose of the hatching of new desire newer deeper fuller more meaningful well now you put it that way abraham <laughs> not so much and yet here you are in these physical bodies the larger part of you remaining non-physical, do you know that? In other words, there is this source energy part of you who eternally continues to expand because this personality is here sifting through variety and coming to deeper and clearer desires. Because you knew when you made the decision to participate here in this physical format that life would focus you into greater desire and you so liked that idea because then you remembered that then you knew it wasn't a matter of remembering it because then you had not lost sight of it then you knew that as new desire hatches all you got to do is become vibrationally familiar with the new desire and then manifestation follows not eventually quickly sometimes as we visit with our physical friends and we know we love you very much that you are really we love you very much deep into the details we love you very much of manifestation we know that the manifestation really matters and we want manifestation to matter to you it must be really irritating to hear someone who is non-physically focused continue to draw a big circle in the air and tell you it's the vortex and insist that you go in it's sort of hard to get your thoughts around that but the reason that we talk about this vibrational version of you that is expanding constantly because of what you're living is because the vibrational version of you is the larger forever eternal version of you to whom you must constantly seek alignment because this non-physical version of you is who you really are so we're going to briefly give you the big picture and then we're going to get right into how you fit into it and the importance of who you are and the importance of the manifestations that you are seeking in other words we never want to give you the impression that you are source energy in a physical body just wanting to learn how to be source energy because if all you wanted to do was to remember how to be source energy you would have just stayed source energy with us you wouldn't have taken all the time and trouble of being born it's really a pain you know <laughs> and not just to your mother in other words, coming forth into a physical body is a big deal. There's a lot of adjustment because you're born into a vibrational environment that is not pure positive energy like you remembered. That's why you cried a lot, especially at first, and slept a lot, and ignored everyone a lot. They kept saying, come on, come on, give me your attention. And you said, I'd rather not. You're not up to speed with me. And they said, come on, come and play with us. Come on, come and play with us. Come into our denser, darker world. And you said, I'm coming, to, but don't make me come too soon. Let me remain in this pure positive energy. And we want you to realize that there's no danger, there's no risk in getting out there on the bleeding, bleeding edge. There's, there's no risk in that. It's just that... You are supposed to feel good. You are meant to feel good. Feeling good is who you are. And feeling good is possible under any and all conditions. And when you get that, when you get that you have the ability to hold your thoughts in a position that allows you full alignment with who you really are, then what you will have is the knowledge to control the manifestations of your life. Until then, not so much. What most do 
even those like you who have been listening to us for a while. You look for details in manifestation to which you can have a good feeling response. And there's nothing wrong with that. We encourage it. We've been teaching it for a very long time. But if you need manifestations to perform for you in a way that evokes from you a good feeling response, now you're creating life by default. Now you're letting the circumstances, you're letting others, you're letting manifestation dictate your alignment and you want to do it the other way around. You want your alignment to create manifestations and it's different than you have for the most part been playing it. Esther is astonished at how much manifestation has been being searched by her for details to affect the way she feels. In other words, I'll just scrutinize what is for things that feel good and then I'll feel good. And we say, good idea, good idea, good idea. However, don't depend on what is for your good feeling because you can never go beyond what is if that's the case. You're not a regurgitator of what isness. You are a creator of new what isness. And so today, what we really want to emphasize, and we can feel you're up for it. What we really want to emphasize is the close proximity. It's so close that you could call it instant manifestation, although that freaks you out. <laughs> the close proximity between the alignment that you achieve deliberately with your vortex and the manifestations that follow or the not closeness with your vortex that you achieve and the manifestations that follow. We want to show you how whatever it is you're feeling is causing the manifestations to unfold. Now, sometimes you don't believe that because it feels like, oh, there's already people out there. There are already situations that have been created. I cannot create in the experience of another. But we want you to understand that you can evoke, you can elicit, you can rendezvous with, in fact, not just can you, but you do, you do, you do, you do, you do, with precisely in the moment how you're feeling in the moment, with precisely how you're doing, how you're feeling in the moment, with precisely how you're doing, how you're feeling in the moment. Now, friends, freak you out or not, that's instant manifestation. You can be observing something that's not so good and maybe it's irritating you, maybe it's frightening you, maybe it's just frustration. It could be anywhere in that range of unwanted emotions, strong or not so strong. And as you focus there, you cause a vibration within you to reverberate in response to whatever it is that you're observing. You just let often that circumstance train you into a vibrational frequency. And then everything that happens to you now, 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 this could take a while, now, 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 reflects what you've got going on vibrationally. Now, what you've got going on vibrationally is always reflected to you by what you feel. But what happens to you so often is you become accustomed to feelings that are indicators of vibration that's going to reflect back to you more stuff that you really don't want so much. But you're hardy, we know. You take those classes, those stiff upper lip classes. You take those wrestle it to the ground and kill it classes. You take those life isn't supposed to be fair or fun classes. You take those I'm strong and I'm hardy and I can endure and I can persevere and life isn't supposed to be fun. And we say... Yes, it is. It's supposed to be fun, not just now, but always. And what you're going to come to realize as you play with this more and more in a conscious, deliberate way is that it is also fun to witness something unwanted, maybe something really unwanted, because in the knowing of what you don't want, there is a bounce or the other end of that vibrational wavelength that knows exactly what you do want. And even though you can't maybe speak what you want because you're so embroiled in what you don't want, what you do want is bouncing out of you, bouncing out of you, bouncing out of you, because friends, you just got to know how obvious it is when you know what you don't want, you know what you do want. In other words, that's that deciphering process, isn't it? And when you really don't want want it you really do want something else and when you sort of don't want it you sort of don't want something else but this process helps you to define whether you can speak it or not 
So this defining, this preferring, this giving birth to new intentions, it's the evolution of all species. It's the evolution of the cellular species. It's the evolution of the human species. It's the evolution of everything. Is this energy or vibration that bounces from someone, whether you're a one-celled organism or whether you're a full-fledged genius human, Focusing and identifying whether consciously or whether vibrationally identifying what it is you prefer. Evolution, evolution, expanding, expanding, becoming, becoming, becoming. But most humans are really slow on the trigger to go along with what they have birthed. Your inner being isn't. In other words, you were source energy before you came into this physical body and only a part of that consciousness, a really rather small, we will not say insignificant, but it is part of you. In other words, the larger part of you remains non-physical. Here you are, physically focused, this wonderful personality that is you, sifting through and preferring, preferring, expanding, becoming, expanding, becoming, asking, 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 whether you put words to it or not. Someone's rude, you want nicer people around you. If you're sick, you want to be well. If you're really sick, you really want to be well. If you don't have enough money, you want money. All day, every day, bounce, 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 bounce. And the source within you, becoming, becoming, becoming. Because every time you say, I'd like that, source who holds no resistance, your inner being who holds no resistance, becomes what you've asked for, becomes what you've asked for, vibrationally speaking. Now, that doesn't ring your bells very much because you're into manifestation and it's okay. That's why you're here in these flesh, blood and bony bodies. You have come for manifestations. You've come to this leading edge because, oh, to line up and manifest, it just doesn't get any better than that. This is not catching up time. This is leading edge time. You're not here to prove worthiness through your manifesting. You're here to prove creation through your manifesting. In other words, you're here to create through manifestation. So as you stand in your physical body and you're aware of the buffet that's before you some things you can look right at and know you prefer them and some things you can look at and know that you would like it to be better and have you noticed that if you let yourself believe in your own or global or mass consciousness personal or bigger expansion that you cannot stop for a moment thinking of what would be better esther's been in the new kitchen in Texas and most things that are in most cupboards have not been there very long because she keeps finding a better place for everything <laughs> anyone who's trying to find something that was there yesterday is in trouble because today it's in a new and improved place for a while in other words, she'll find the place that works perfectly in time. But it's very funny to her that there are so many places for improvement, no matter how good something is. You never run out of the desire to expand because you are eternal beings. We have adored this interaction. It is delicious to interact with you. We can feel that you are in an entirely different place of understanding. You can feel the power of the vortex and your relationship with it has shifted dramatically. We are eager to observe the manifestational evidence of the vibrational shift that has taken place within you. You now know deliberate creation in a whole new way. And everyone with whom you interact is just going to be this godsend of a reflection of how you're doing vibrationally. It's so nice. Manifestation fast on the heels to let you know where you are. And why would there be such a loving universe that would give you constant feedback about where you are? Because you're supposed to feel good. Because it's right that you feel good. That it's natural that you feel good. There is great love here for you. And as always, we remain consistently and insistently with practice beyond verbal description in the vortex. Yeah. What a nice day. Very good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah.